Developing now, the Charleston Marathon canceled because of COVID-19 again as the South Carolina leading health agency sees a sharp rise in COVID-19 infections across the state. And with just a little more than a week until the race was supposed to happen, organizers say that they just could not move forward safely given the surge in COVID-19 cases. News 2's Kevon Dupree has more on two participants' reactions to the news of the cancellation of the race. Months of training down the drain for runners across the nation who were set to meet in the low country for the Charleston Marathon on January 15th. When I first found out the marathon was canceled, I was shocked. You know, my wife messaged me. I thought it was a joke because we'd been training for months and this was our first marathon. So we were super excited. My wife and I wanted to go on an experience and a journey together. Just days before the race, organizers made the difficult decision to call it off, citing sky-high COVID-19 rates, cutting into plans that had been in the works for months. I had my flight booked, a car rental, a hotel. Um, because I'm traveling from out of town, uh, I obviously needed all of those things. We re literally rented a whole house on Airbnb. We were going to have all my in-laws come over. You know, so it was going to be eight people, basically, and two kids, probably a couple dogs, too. Organizers say the race relies heavily on local first responders who are currently understaffed and overwhelmed amid the latest COVID surge. Upon reading the announcement, I do understand they have to do what they have to do. Um, and with the um, staffing shortages of our emergency um, responders, that is definitely something that would affect um, the local and surrounding areas. But some runners feel the cancellation is a step too far. How do we know COVID's not going to be an issue then as well, right? It's still going to be around. We're not going to eliminate it off the face of the earth. We have to figure out how can we enjoy, you know, activities, events, athleticism safely, right? So I think I overall, I very much so disagree with the execution and the decision to cancel the whole run entirely. That was News 2's Kevon Dupree reporting. Runners have been offered the option to run the race virtually or to receive credit for a future race. We've reached out to organizers of the race and are awaiting a response.